Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how I made this cool looking coat hook or tea towel hook just out of a scrap piece of wood and some old teaspoons. So I had these random teaspoons accumulating in my uh, kitchen cutlery drawer for a while. No idea where they came from and I thought what can I make with these? So I decided to make this coat hook first thing that I need to do is I want to flatten out the spoons so I'm using a rag here to um, protect the metal and a hammer and just bashing them until they flatten out and this will make them um, sit on the wood better if they're flatter So there was the spoons all flattened out. Now I just wanted to give them a quick polishing, clean them up a bit, make them nice and shiny. So I have some metal polish here and I'm just buffing it on with a rag. And that got the spoons all nice and shiny. Now I wanted to drill two holes in each spoon, ready for some screws later on. And now I have a countersink bit I'm going to um, countersink these holes so that the heads of the screws sit nice and flush in the spoons. So now I need to bend the spoons so I decided to use a small crowbar as a guide and I've just clamped the spoon up and I'm going to bend it around the bend of the crowbar and that will make sure that they're all a uniform bend. For the more stubborn spoons I used a second clamp to just pump the clamp and bend them around the crowbar. And then to finish off the bend, I need to bend the front section. So I'm just making a mark here at three centimeters. And then I'm gonna put this into the clamp and bend it over. And that worked quite well. To attach the spoons to the wood, I'm going to be using these small screws. And you can see they'll sit nicely flush I have this scrap piece of pine and I'm going to cut down a section of 50 centimeters and it's around 11 centimeters high that will give me enough room to space out the spoons And I want to use a Roman OG router bit to give a nice decorative edge to the wood.
Then I needed to sand it down. There was some lacquer on here. So I needed to get that off. I'm using 180 grit sandpaper. And then I wanted to fill some little gaps here and there. So I've got some fine sawdust and some PVA glue to make a filler. Once that was dry, I could then go in with a 240 grit and make everything nice and smooth. And you can see this piece of wood has a really interesting grain pattern. So for the finish, I've decided to use this blue uh, shoe polish, which I think will bring out the grain nicely. So I'm just buffing it on with a cloth. And then I could buff off the excess to give it a nice sheen. And I think it turned out quite well. Now I want to drill a hole either side to add a screw later on to attach it to um, the inside of a door. So with a combination square and a ruler, I'm just working out where I want these holes to go. And that'll be roughly in the centre and about two and a half centimetres from each edge. I could then drill out these holes. Now I needed to arrange the spoons ready to attach them. So once I was happy with the placement of the spoons, I could then use an awl to make some marks ready to drill some pilot holes. Now it's time to attach the spoons. First I attach the top screw for each spoon. Then I could just move them slightly to get them aligned and add the second screw. So that was the spoon coat hook all finished now i just need to attach it to the back of a door in the kitchen again using the awl i just made a mark and then added a screw with a washer So that's about it for this video. I was pleased in the end how it turned out, considering it's made out of a scrap bit of wood, um, some boot polish and a few old teaspoons. So this should be good for hanging towels on, hats, things like that in the kitchen. 
If you like this video, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.